Hello everybody, it's Kathy here. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today is just a, a quick live stream today. Uh, I woke up this morning with the, just this, I was reflecting on why I like driving fast. <laughs> and um, I remember when I was in New Zealand, I used to live, we, I lived in a retreat center. We were, it was like a personal development, higher consciousness, development center and it was about an hour and a half from wellington in the north island and we would uh, go into wellington regularly to um teach groups or you know run meditation circles and workshops and things and and then eventually i was i had a job out there teaching english as well so i used to come backwards and forwards regularly and um there is a mountain range in the middle and it was a really good opportunity to do some really uh, like rally driving. I used to pretend, I mean, I'm, I'm no rally driver, but I love driving fast. But my partner at the time, he had got lots of experience in rally driving. And he taught me this technique, which is that when you're driving around hairpin bends and you're, uh, you want to keep your speed up, uh, rather than like normally if you're driving you might be kind of concerned about what's coming up you're looking at the ground in front of the car uh you're reacting to everything that's there and that sort of slows you down because you're you're in your mind you're looking in a uh, right in front of you so what rally drivers do to keep their speed up is that they focus on the point in the distance where they can see to uh, and they just kind of stay locked into that and they don't worry about what's going on right in front of them because they just trust that they will manage it. So if there's any bumps or potholes or something that makes the car bump up and down a little bit, they, they don't worry about what's there because they're more concerned about staying on track, staying on target. And then when they reach that target, the, the target changes as they go around the corner and they see the next uh, line, uh, sight line and they aim for that. And it works. It totally works. So you know, I've done this lots of times and uh, you, when you do it, you, you just trust your body, your, your body and your other car are kind of like working in unison and something takes over, you know, this, you're totally in your heart and totally focused and uh, it's exhilarating. And I think when you're in that level of joy and excitement as well, uh, there's a sense of like, you're connected into your guidance you're connected into source because when you when you're in your heart you're connected to joy that is like you're connected to the greater field of consciousness and there's always this sense of uh when I, whenever i've driven like that i've always sensed being supported and guided so the analogy that i wanted to make really was when you have a goal when you've got something that you would love to manifest uh and it's some way in the future it's to stay focused on that goal that's out there and being, you know, excited about it and focused and not we're not focusing on all the bumps in the road. Because it because that slows you down, it gets you into your head, it makes you kind of think, oh, how am I going to navigate this rather than just trusting yourself and trusting that the flow of life that gave you that goal in the first place is going to be there to support you and that you'll get through it. Because what we normally do is we spend a lot of time focusing on the problem focusing on what's blocking us what's coming up that's sticking us and that's what slows us down it gets us second guessing ourselves we let go of the vision that we have of what we want to experience and our focus is then on the on the lack of it or the problem and then of course where you put your focus is where you create more of so this was just a really short little example of why it's so important to get focused on on your goal on you know where you want to go to and uh and not focusing right in front of you on all of the things that aren't working out that's it for me for now i'll see you next time bye